you went back to something like GTA RP, sure. The last two times you did it, you put yourself in a position where you were like working a job. Yeah. Well, I preferred it that way. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted the genuine downtime. Like I remember talking to a uh, wise guy. He's one of the GTA RP devs. And he was like, um, I told him I would love to work at this burger joint. And he's like, are you sure? Like you understand the people that worked at the burger joint on the last server did a whole lot of fucking nothing all day. I was like, I know that's great. That's what, that's what, that's what I want. I want to just sit there and like watch YouTube videos, mm -hmm. you know, a glorified just chatting section sounds great and easy with the occasional moment. And I love that. I'm still so but, upset about GTA RP. We had that whole storyline going mm -hmm. and then the winter storm hit. I blew up uh, burger shot. <laughs> dude. I missed it, dude. Like, like we had, we didn't even plan it. We just took like one of them semis, like with the the fuel on it, mm -hmm. and just went into Burger Shot and then shot it and blew it up. How crazy is it though? You you were playing a manager of Burger Shot, right? Yeah. And the conclusion to that ends with like in uh, GTA's like version of the Hollywood Bowl, you're in like this like big fight with the <laughs> Roosters Rest, right? <laughs> yeah. That was like that, it's amazing, like what happens on like it's. So it, to me, it's it's some of my favorite content on Twitch. If it, it, you have to, and this is a really hard thing, and I, I praise Coil for this and all of the other GTA RP devs, you do have to put the right, most entertaining people in the positions mm -hmm. to make good content. And you have to be the people that are willing to, and some of the most entertaining stuff, in my opinion, that comes out of GTA RP are the, you need those boring fucking moments. Mm -hmm. You need someone who genuinely just fucking works a burger joint. And yet that's the foundation. Someone willing to do it that's also like willing to drive a storyline and make stupid shit happen. Like I'm sitting there, I want to lose. And uh, uh, like fucking GTA RPers will say like all the time, like, yeah, I'm okay with losing. No, they're not. No, they're when it really happens, no, they want to win. And they're fucking all stupid as shit. Wait, what does win mean? Winning in RP. So let's say your situation, right? Remember how at one point we had you like on the roof and we were detaining you and like beating the shit out of you? Yep. That's losing. Oh they yeah, no, I wanted to lose right. there. I had and no that's other fine. choice. And that's fine. You, well, you didn't have any other choice. But sometimes, you know, people really fucking want to win, and then losing is happen. the most fun. No, losing is definitely. Really, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And that's people, content. people will all say that, and then they get in a position where they lose, and they have Twitch chat laughing at them because mm -hmm. the GTRP viewers are some of the dumbest human beings on planet Earth. <sighs> Bruh, <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so cute. Um, I, I don't know. So. I, I miss G I do miss GTA RP, but at the same time I don't because yeah. that burger joint turned into the biggest leech fest yeah. I've ever dealt with, and it became very frustrating because I can't accuse everyone of just being some fucking prominent leech instantly, but that's how it comes off. Because yeah. I'm in the middle of like example. Let's use Dustin. Dustin genuinely just happened to for whatever reason his storyline genuinely formed into the situation where he's driving a semi. oh it was on purpose mm -hmm. i blew up your your shop i know on... but it wasn't just forced no it wasn't forced no, it wasn't there was forced. reasonings for it right so from my perspective i'm sitting there in the middle of this big rp moment and then a big fucking truck comes through i hate you kevin i'm like i'm in the middle of something else and then as soon as i'm going to there now the cops are coming in kevin what's going on i'm like guys everyone shut up what the fuck's going on? I've got 15 different fucking storylines. Yeah. And I cannot deal with this. Everyone is a fucking leech. Like, that's the mind. I don't like thinking like that. But with yeah. most of them, I'm right. No, I mean, think about it. In GTA RP, people will just look for the biggest streamers and try and create some sort of storyline for them because that's what's going to make their shit take off. Um, and it, it was pretty obvious. Um, mm-hmm. It's just, I it's just will say, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I was like oh, guilty of exactly that, but yeah, I wanted to get viewers, but I did it because I thought it would be hilarious to fuck your shit up. I mean, you're also like your God, brother. You're also my brother. Like, yeah. Like, I thought it would be like, hilarious like, to literally blow up your store. So a lot of people, uh, man, it's, it's fucked up to think that way. But at the same time, it's like, know what you can get away with. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And a lot of people, especially in an environment where truth be told, these people streaming this GTA role play game, a lot of them. It's their job. So they want to yeah. do a great job. How do they do a great job? Get the best job in the game. It's just, it's so weird. It is a weird fucking environment, and I'm not surprised it turns out the way it does a lot. Yeah, I was nervous to stream it. I used to play it off stream. I think I streamed it once. I remember. I was throwing, because I ended up being a club promoter. I don't know if you knew that. In GTA? Yep. What the fuck? I ended up being like a party promoter. I did like a party on the yacht. I said it was my <laughs> yacht, and somehow everyone believed it was my yacht. 
So he threw a party on the yacht, and then it got robbed by pirates. <laughs> It's freaking crazy. What and the then fuck? I threw. Well, the one time I hung out with you, we were, I was throwing a party at what's the club? Um, the, one of the, the club. One of the clubs. The one that looks like the martini glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was. I don't know. Whatever that was, I threw a party there, and, and you came in, and like you were like some nerdy kid, an and underage, you were like underage, underage drinker, and you told yeah. me you're underage, and I was like, get the fuck out. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I, and I got hired at Burger Shop by yeah, it was the Bahama owner. Mama. It was Bahama Mama. The That's owner. Right. I was just standing around Burger Shop, yeah. and nobody was working. It was like the first few days of the server. Really? Nobody was working. He hired me. I didn't have Prio at the time. I hired you? No, the, the, the like, uh, who was the Wise admin guy? that was like... Wise guy. I forgot his character in-game, but... He also did the casino. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. That's why he's got. Oh, fuck, is yeah, it? nobody was there, so he's like, Dean, you Watson? work here now. Dean, Dean, Dean. Dean. He's like, you work here now. I wasn't wise guy. Why did I think? It was and then Dean? I made it my goal to become the accountant. So I st I made a PowerPoint about how to sell more burgers, and I <laughs> kept leaving it in the store. And I also made a survey that I kept dropping everywhere about people's service, and it had like ridiculous questions on it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah I mean. GTA RP, if you manage to get in, obviously everyone wants to fucking get mm -hmm. in, but if you get into no pixel, it never goes the way you think it will. Oh, yeah. Dude, it, I was so, was. it was going so well for me, and then that winter storm hit and messed all my storylines up, and then, like, I basically started over, because I wasn't oh. someone that, like, had someone to go live with every day. Like, my best friend in the game didn't have Pryo, so mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if he was going to be there, and if he wasn't there, then I was just doing my own thing, but I was, like, cool with everyone, but I didn't have, like, that person to just bounce off all the time. So yeah. once all my storylines got messed up, I basically like had nothing to do, started from scratch, and I was like, nah, 